In the world of cinema, storytelling frequently requires a delicate balance of fact and fiction. While performers often portray scripted and produced characters and events, filmmakers occasionally include bits of reality into their storytelling. These moments may add depth and authenticity to a picture, producing a sense of reality that stays with viewers long after the credits roll. Let's see few of them. Did you know that the first examples of cinema were not what we now call movies? The pioneers of cinema simply documented everyday life, capturing candid moments and feelings that never got too intense. By the time cinema began to emerge, several filmmakers were eager to convey genuine expression and feelings on their actors' faces, whether it was joy, grief, or most commonly terror. All of this contributes to fully immersive cinema, even if it comes at a cost. Whether intended or not, a few cinematic moments have recorded an actor when their masks were off. Here are 10 of the most amazing examples of performances' genuine responses being captured on film rather than just acting. Number 1. Isla Fisher, Now You See Me Fisher stars in Louis Leterrier's Now You See Me as a magician with experience escaping situations. Her character was chained and thrown inside an enclosed tank of water with the challenge of escaping. Clear enough until mid-take, when Fisher realized her chains were caught and began to fight. The taps on the glass and the panicked expressions are all too real. Isla revealed to Chelsea Handler during an episode of Chelsea Lately, everyone thought I was acting fabulously, but no one knew I was actually struggling. I had to swim to the bottom, I couldn't get up. Fortunately, a nearby stuntman detected danger and saved her life by triggering a quick release switch. Number 2. Brad Pitt, Fight Club Naturally, a film called Combat Club would indicate a number of combat scenes, one of which became a bit too real for star Brad Pitt. In an interview with Jimmy Fallon in 2019, Edward Norton said that Pitt's first punch in the film involved a real knocker to the ear. David Fincher approached me and said, hit me, connect with him somewhere. I didn't know what to do, so I hit him in the ear. Norton acknowledged on the chat show. This means Pitt's reaction, in which he swears, winces, and accuses Norton of hitting him in the ear, is entirely real. Number 3. Steve Carroll, The 40-Year-Old Virgin A classic scene from this 2005 film has Carroll's Andy Stitzer unexpectedly arriving at a chest-waxing session. While there was no need to go all the way with this one, Carroll elected to get waxed, which he appears to regret today. It honestly hurt more than I thought it would. He told people, I went into it thinking, this will be funny. But when they started applying the wax with a small stick, I had serious second thoughts. And so I figured, if it's humorous, is it worth it? When I returned home that night, my wife was understandably frightened by what I looked like and continued to look like for the following two months. Every night she looked at her with a smile. Number 4. Alan Rickman, Die Hard Rickman was best known for his role as Die Hard villain Hans Gruber before taking on Snape and countless other legendary characters. At the end of the film, his character is shot by Bruce Willis's John McClane, leaving Rickman dangling from a skyscraper window. To film this, the filmmakers put up a pretty complicated stunt routine in which Rickman was bound by rope and told that on the count of three, he would be released and fall from 40 feet in the air, landing on a crash pad. According to the film's stunt coordinator Charlie Pierney, Rickman was dropped on the count of one, resulting in a comically surprised, horrified expression on his face that is entirely authentic. Number 5. Nostromo Crew Cast Alien Alien, arguably the best science fiction horror film of all time, provided us with countless classic scenes to remember. One of the most memorable is the notorious chest buster scene, in which a little alien thing erupts out of actor John Hurt's chest, frightening everyone else on the ship. They were going to be the hardest thing. If an actor is just acting terrified, you can't get the genuine look of raw animal fear, reflected filmmaker Ridley Scott. In order to elicit authentic reactions, he kept the events of the scene hidden from the cast. They reacted correctly. Actor Veronica Cartwright, who plays a bloody Lambert, famously passed out after the camera stopped shooting. Number 6. Robin Williams, Good Will Hunting Not every off-script reaction needs to be terrifying or disgusting. Some might be rather wholesome. Good Will Hunting is about the connection between young genuine Will Matt Damon and his therapist Robin Williams. While attempting to break down the former's emotional defenses, Williams' character pauses to recount a story about his late wife farting in the middle of the night. While endearing, the entire sequence was completely unscripted, with both actors sharing a genuine chuckle as a result of Robin Williams' magic. Number 7. Jaws 
Jaws released in 1975 instilled in a generation a lifelong fear of really large fish. There's a scary legend about the film that claims that actress who plays the shark's first victim Susan Baclini screamed in true terror as her ribs were crushed by the device tugging her beneath the sea. While there is no evidence to support this, director Steven Spielberg chose to make it a surprise when the shark would attack, implying that her startled abrupt gasp and choking of water was a genuine response. Roy Shader also invented the statement, We're gonna need a bigger boat. No one was wounded while producing the picture. However, the same cannot be said about the real and fake sharks. The red herring shark killed early in the film was a real shark caught in Florida. And the first robot jaws they tested sank to the bottom of the ocean. Number 8. Downfall Downfall is a 2004 historical drama about Hitler's defeat and fall from power. Many memes revolve around the critical scene in which Hitler realizes his military strategies are failing and are completely fouled up. Though there's plenty of schadenfreude in this film as we watch Hitler and the Nazis meet their demise, there are other scenes that provoke genuine dread. In one scene, Magda Goebbels, wife of top Nazi propagandist Joseph Goebbels, prisons and murders her six children while they wait in the bunker for the Red Army to arrive. Corina Harfauch, the actress who plays Magda Goebbels, had to constantly halt filming because she burst into tears at the thought of a mother murdering her children. Number 9. The Princess Bride The Princess Bride is a popular 1987 cult comedy starring Carrie Elvis as a dread pirate Robert Wesley. Wesley is subjected to some pretty horrific treatment in the film, including being hooked up to some sort of suction cup life vacuum torture machine being brought back to life by a decrepit Billy Crystal, but not before being soundly clonked on the head by the six-fingered man played by Christopher Guest. Apparently, they weren't selling a believable knockout, so Elvis recommended that Guest hit him as hard as he could, using a sword, an actual metal sword. Elvis writes in his book, As you wish and that's the last thing I recall. I awoke at the hospital. If there is one thing that distinguishes great actors from excellent performers, it is their willingness to risk long-term brain damage in order to bring authenticity to a film involving unusually large rodents. Number 10. The Shining The Shining, one of the most influential horror thriller films of all time, was directed by Stanley Kubrick, an eccentric, analytical, and talented filmmaker. It stars Shelley Duvall and Jack Nicholson as a couple tasked with taking care of an empty hotel throughout the winter, and it transports the audience into a realm of lunacy, dread, and psychological fracture. It's packed with symbolism, and each element is meticulously constructed. The meticulousness with which the picture was constructed came at a cost. Shelley Duvall's health. Kubrick harassed the actress, forcing her to do endless takes while verbally criticizing and disparaging her acting abilities. This was deliberate, as revealed in the making of The Shining. Vivian Kubrick, Stanley Kubrick's daughter, detailed how her father terrorized Duval to emphasize her character's nervousness. To summarize, there have been various instances in film history where actors were not genuinely acting in films, blurring the line between reality and fiction. From documentaries with reenactments to films based on real-life events and videos, filmmakers have found innovative ways to create stories that feel realistic and engaging. These examples demonstrate the various methods to narrative in cinema, as well as the new ways in which filmmakers can engage audiences and challenge traditional filmmaking. Thank you for watching this video. We genuinely hope you found it to be both insightful and practical. Please click the like button and tell your loved ones about it. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Until then, goodbye.